Hello everyone, my name is Diego Damona. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and to install SQL Server 2017. So first of all, you need to know what you need to know what you need to download for you to be able to use SQL Server 2017. In this case, first of all, you're going to download SQL Server Express 2017, and secondly, you will need SQL Server Management Studio. For you to be able to create database and to do the work as uh, the job as it works so without further ado let me take you the first thing to do you need to launch your browser it can be windows explorer or it can also be google chrome but as for me i like google chrome because it's very fast so you can just start, start uh sql server 2000 sorry oh did i have a message here okay SQL Server 2000, no, no, SQL Server Express, all right, 2017. This is what you want, sorry. So you need to click, you need to type to SQL Server Express 2000, SQL Server Express 2017. This is what you want for you to be able to use SQL Server. So you can just click on enter. And then here, here's the thing. This is the official website for Microsoft. So it's in this link here. When you click it, it's going to direct you to the official website for Microsoft. You're going to click on it. And it's gonna keep it's gonna give us this window. So what you can do, you can just scroll down. You scroll down and then you come over here where it says Microsoft SQL Server 2020. 17 express so this is what we need to install first what you need to do is just click on download it's going to download a little program basically as you can see it's already downloaded so this is not the sql server express which you are looking at you are looking for now this is just a small package it's a an installer program so how can you find it well just go to your uh, documents, for instance. Let me just go to this PC. And just open it and then you go to download. Yes, as you can see here. So we already managed to download not the SQL Server uh, 2017, but we just download the file, which is an, an, a, which is an installer of SQL Server 2017. So what you need to do, you're just going to double click it. And when you double click it, it's going to pop up a little window asking you a question. So the only thing you need to do is to click on yes. So when you click on yes, it is going to give you this window. Here, they are giving you three different choices for you to be able to download SQL Server Express Edition 2017. So. What you can do is just click on the choice here in the middle because this is the best one for the use for the purpose of uh, what you are looking at. So click on this one here. Just follow whatever is going to ask you to do. So let's go to install. All right. So let's get. Uh, Def, def, definitely it takes few seconds for, 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 for this window to be pop for, for this window to pop up so it can be able to download. But here you can see there's multiple choice here. So you don't you don't you don't you don't do everything at once, you go step by step. But as for now, remember we are going to download and install SQL Server 2017 Express Edition. So which means you're gonna have to come here to on the first choice where it says New SQL Server stand alone installation or add features to an existing installation. But as for, as for our case, we don't have any instance on our computer. So the only thing we are going to do here, we're going to click here because we need to install new SQL Server. Okay, on our computer. So you just click here and then wait. Once it gives you this window, what you can do, you can click on accept this license terms 
and click on next. Then you wait. It's getting all the packages ready for the installation to start. All right, so here we can see all these uh, steps, they are good, but just the last step where it says window firewall, it gives an error. So this is something very simple. Don't worry about it. As uh, we are going through this, uh, this session somewhere there, I will show you the reason why it's showing this message. But don't worry, there's nothing alarming because it's not going to cause only da any damage, I wanted to say. It's not gonna cause any damage to our installation. So carry on. Click on next and you wait. So here, let me tell you something. If you click on next, it might give you an error message. But let me go for it. It might give you an error message. It could give you an error message if only this part here was checked. Where it says polybars query services service for external data. So if this one is checked because I don't think I have it in my computer. It's going to give an, an error message. But let me, let me carry on. If you click on next, and then you wait a little bit, definitely it's going to give, it's going to throw an exception. It's going to give an error message because I don't have that program on my computer. You see, where right, there's a red X here, this, this guy here, where I call GRE7 updates and, and so forth. I don't have it on my computer. So I cannot proceed. You might be stuck at this point, but don't worry. Just click back and then you come here. So they are referring to this guy here where it says Polybars query service for external data, which is not on my computer. So what you can do, just untick it, you know, uncheck it, remove it, and then it's going to be fine. And then you proceed to next. Look at what's going to happen. Voila, we have escaped that step so which means everything is fine and now we are ready to go all right let's get back to our installation now it's a come about uh, the instance so you can click on default or you can name your instance as for now it is sql express so you can just leave it as it is there is nothing but that must be a memorable name because as time goes, you will remember this name for you to be able to use it in a nice way. But as for now, we can just leave it as it is and we can click on next. You wait a little bit. All right. So here, you can just click on grants perform volume maintenance. Just tick it. You tick uh, this checkbox and then you go to next. You wait. All right, so here you need to know something. You can leave it on Windows authentication mode, or you can come to mixed mode, to mixed model, which is about uh, SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication. So you can only tick here on mixed mode if you'd like to create users, so you can give them some permissions. But uh, if you don't think that uh, you're gonna need some users or uh, small things after you know some users after installing this you can leave it as it is but if you think that you're going to create some users so you can give them some allowance you know some authentication some authorization throughout the database management then you can tick on mixed model all right but uh, as for me i'm not going that far i'll leave it to windows authentication mode and then i click on next you wait a little bit. If it asks you this question, you just click on accept and you wait. Next again. Sorry, this is accept. You click first on accept. So you go to next again and then you wait. But here's the thing. Now it started downloading. All right. Now the, we're done installing uh, SQL Server 2017 Express. So we can check here, yeah, everything is green, 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 green. 
Yeah, this was a perfect installation. But this is not the end of our journey. Remember, as I told you, there are two things that you need to install. As for now, we just managed to install this one, where it says SQL Server Express 2017. There is one more step that we need to go for, for us to finish everything and to start using our database management without any problem. So let's go to the next step so we can start downloading and then install SQL Server Management Studio. I'll take you through the step. So we're going to install this guy here, SQL Server Management Studio. Let me just minimize this one. So this one is done properly. Okay, you can click on close. Then you get back to this installer here. You have left with four different choice. You don't install this one because you don't need it. You don't install this one either because you don't need it. You don't install this one because you don't need it either. But what you need is to install SQL Server, SQL Server Management Tools. This is what you need to install. So if you click on it, it's going to direct you to the website of Microsoft so you can be able to download it. Now it's opening up the website. If you scroll down here, guys, you just scroll down and you see this is the uh, the link for the download. You see free download for SQL Server Management Studio, voila, voila. So if you click on it, then it's going to start downloading. But me, I have it already download on my computer. So I'm not going to download it. I'm just gonna go where it is and then I'll start installing it. So if you don't have it, you can just click here and then it's going to open the link. Then it's gonna start download the file for you. So let's get, let's say that uh, the file is already downloaded. You get it already on your computer. Yes. So this is the file they are referring to. So it's going to cost you something like six, uh, 660 something megabytes on your computer for you to be able to download it, okay? So I have it already, yeah? you can see SQL Server Management Studio, I have it. What I can do, I'm just, I'm just going to close this window here because I have it already on my computer. I'll close this one and then I come here open then I will double click on it if you double click on it it's gonna ask you a question one more time don't worry just go click on yes I click on yes so you can also click on yes and then wait all right there we go we go the window one more time this is the location where all the files will be stuck will be installed on your computer you can leave it as it is on install and you wait all right, we waited for quite a long time now that uh, the installation the installation is done. So we are good to go. But you can see that uh, it's, uh, it's telling you that you need to, uh, to restart. So the restart is required in order to complete setup. All specified components have been installed successfully. The computer needs to be restarted before setup can continue. So this is what we need to do. I'm going to restart the computer, and then I'll come back to really check if the program that we just installed is working properly. So the restart is done. Now the computer is, is, is uh, ready to be used. Let's now check if we've managed to successfully download and install SQL Server 2017. So I'm just going to open my Windows Explorer and go to look for Microsoft SQL Server. Here it is, Microsoft SQL Server. If you open it, then you're going to see all the packages that come with it. But uh, what we need to really check if we've managed to install this program is you need to come where it says Microsoft SQL Server Tools 18. Just expand it and then looking at uh, Microsoft SQL Server 
management. This is what we're going to be working on so we can be able to create database. So to make things easier, I'm just going to put it on my desktop so that it can be easy to access. Just uh, click and drag it. Then I drop it on my desktop. Here it is. So I'm going to double click just to take if it's working properly. So after opening it, it's going to take a bit of time because uh, this is the first use of it. So it has to take everything in charge so we can uh, use it nicely. So after you've installed it, the first time you open it, it might take a bit of a while. But just be patient until it will open and then you'll take it from there. All right, you see now it's opening. A try if it's open. If uh, we really manage to successfully uh, download and install it, I'm going to click on connect. I try to connect if it's working properly. Wow, it seems like it's working. Definitely, it is working. This was a successful installation. So we've, we've installed two things. We installed SQL Server Express 2017, and then we managed also to install the second stuff, which is the SQL Server Management Studio. So the installation was successfully. Thank you guys for your patience. What I would say is that uh, please just hit the subscribe button. That's for now, guys. Keep well. Bye. See you in the next video.